Hey there guys, it's Anti Crazy Movie Geek here, and I got a request from a YouTube user named Matteo Ritchie 65 to do a film review on the horror remake that was made in 2002, and it is entitled The Ring. Okay. Now, I spotted this DVD set while I was at Blockbuster a couple of months back, and I decided to buy it, so, yeah. I watched The Ring 1, and I thought it was a cool remake. It was pretty fine, and I didn't check out The Ring 2 yet, although a lot of people really backlash the sequel, you know, really hated it, etc. Um, it's distributed by DreamWorks Pictures, and it's on for 111 minutes. And The Ring 1 and The Ring 2 are rated 15 for... Um, for a strong language, violence, and strong supernatural horror. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen The Ring 1, I suggest that a lot of horror fans should definitely check it out. So, like I said in my other videos, I am not a big fanatic of remakes, you know, because of... Um, because some of these remakes spoil the horror classics, you know, easily at times. Like, I hated the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, and um, I didn't love the Friday the 13th remake, although I did like the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, um, I was not a big fanatic of remakes at all. So, yeah. The plot for me is a little bit complicated in a few places, so um, I'm just going to do my best to you know, tell you guys some of the facts of the plot, of what the film is about, okay? Uh, the film starts off with these, um, these two young girls that have been murdered after they've watched this mysterious videotape from a curse from this creepy young girl named Samara Morgan, and, uh, after they watched the videotape, they got a phone call, and one of them answered the phone, and one of them hears this scary, creepy, whispering voice that says, Seven days. And then the phone cuts off after that, and um, they've been murdered after that. So, um, yeah. And, um... There's Rachel Keller, and um, she founds out that the girls have been murdered, and one of them is um, their cousin. So um, she decides to investigate this curse, you know, to unsolve it, etc. And uh, eventually, as the film goes on, um, she eventually watches the videotape and um, she's being cursed and she receives the same phone call just like the girls from the beginning of the film and she only has seven days to live after that. And then um, she makes a copy of the videotape for uh, her boyfriend and um, sooner or later Rachel's young son eventually watches the videotape so he's been cursed as well so Rachel and her son have got a week left to live so um, basically all the way through Rachel is just trying to stop this uh, mysterious curse about um, Samara Morgan, you know. So, that's just basically, you know, my thoughts of what the film is about. So, it's just a epic, creepy, mysterious quest for Rachel and her son to survive. So, yeah... And 
there has been some creepy moments in this film, and there's been some chills as well. And, uh, you know, you also get to see other characters from different actors. Also, uh, you get to see, um, uh, what's the name? Brian Cox, who's from Braveheart and Red, you know. So, yeah, Brian Cox is a good actor as well. So, in all fairness, this remake isn't really, really good for me, but I thought it's just fine. It's a good remake. So, yeah. And the acting is really well done, actually. And, um, like I said, there's been a few creepy moments in the ring, so, yeah. So, definitely check out The Ring. So, here's the disc, the, uh, the collector's edition. So, I'm gonna give The Ring 1 uh, 4 stars out of 5. That's my film review for The Ring, made in 2002. And I'll be checking out The Ring 2 really soon, and I'm gonna be watching it, and I'll be doing a film review on it, whether it sucks or not. Although a lot of people really hated it. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted for more film reviews really soon. So, take care, guys.